So, if you're, um, if you pay attention to the Tarragon community, especially on YouTube, you'll have seen that a handful of YouTubers, um, made some videos, um, about the Tarragon characters they miss the most, or the, specifically the character they miss the most. It was started by, um, Naya D. Hemming, and then Haku has done one, Bonehead has done one, and a few others. I'll link all the people that were tagged to do that in the description. And I felt like joining in on it because it seems pretty interesting, especially given that I feel my position is quite different to all of theirs, given that they are reading, you know, the chapters weekly as they come out, whereas I'm catching up. So my position is very different. So the characters that I miss more will probably be different to theirs. And so I'm going to do what uh, Haku and Bonehead have done and um, leave your predictions in the description. In the, uh, yes, edit the description and put your predictions there. Fucking hell. Um, in the comments, leave a prediction of who you think um, my most missed character will be. Um, and also, real quick, let's play Rock, Paper, Scissors. If you lose, you subscribe on shoot. Rock, Paper, Scissors, shoot. If you lost, hit the sub button while you're down there. Leave a like, you know. Maybe hit the notification bell, tell me what you think in the comments, and let's get into it. So, first we'll start with some honorable mentions. You know, the you've got obvious ones that I know a lot of people will definitely be saying, stuff like Anak. I know why a lot of people miss Anak, because she is, you know, one of the original main cast members from Season 1 and early Season 2. But for me, Anak never really clicked, so I don't exactly miss Anak, but I wouldn't mind seeing more of her. Maybe then she'll click with me. You have characters like um, Wagner, especially, has kind of fallen out of the um, focus of the story, especially the more time Season 2 went on, the less and less um, integral he was to the progression of the plot. Um, I should point out, I don't have any notes for this. I've got one small note of like the character I quote-unquote missed the most, but I kind of thought of that on the fly at like 2am yesterday. But... Um, the, yesterday from when I'm recording this, not from when you're seeing this, it's probably about two weeks between this being recorded and it going up, but um, that's completely irrelevant, I need to stop rambling. Um, anyway, other characters I've missed, who else do I really miss? I mean, like, there's a Nark, not really a Nark, well, you know, honorable mention types. Wagner's probably, like, my second most missed character, I'd say, and given what I know, he doesn't really have much relevance, at least not recently at the very least. Um, Rachel, I'd love to see more Rachel. Obviously, coming off of Season 2, I have seen at least a good amount of her, but I always want to see more Rachel because she's easily one of my favorite characters in the series. Um, I love everything she does to the story, so I would very much like to see more of her, but it's almost, well, not almost, it is guaranteed that we will see more of her given how important she has been to the plot so far. And also with what's going on between her and Gustang. Um, who else would I like to see? I mean, I haven't seen Yurik, like the real Yurik for a decent little bit. So Yurik would be cool to see. Um, and speaking of Yurik, we might as well get into the character that I personally right now want to see the most again. And it, you might be able to figure it out based on what I did and segueing off of Yurik. It is Garam. Now, why do I want to see Garam the most out of every other character that, so far, from Season 2 into the early parts of Season 3, we haven't had much from? Well, that's because the brief time Garam has had in the spotlight has um, given us a whole lot of information about the tower, specifically how it came to be the way it is now, the truth of, like, um, Balm's backstory, you know, people that climb the tower, she introduced us to Aline and V. So basically, everything Garam has done so far has been pretty fucking important in terms of understanding the world and why it is the way it is. And, you know, very important shit. Now, I'm almost certain she'll show up more, and will show up later on. I expect that. But... I want to know more about not only, you know, the stuff Garam knows, because the last time she interacts with Balm, she, you know, clearly outlines that she knows more than she has told him, and that he might hate her for not telling him everything, so I really want to know what that last little bit is, because we'll eventually find that out. 
if it hasn't already been revealed later in season three. Um, I also want to know more about Gram as a character, because um, you've got to be a pretty bad bitch to get um, Yurik simping for you. So yeah, that's the character that I, on like a dime, decided, you know what, that's the character I want to see more of, I quote unquote miss the most. So yeah, this has been a interesting thing. Tell me what you think of, of that, and what you think of Garam, and also your um, most missed character. While trying to avoid spoilers just a little bit, if you can. Um, so I do read all the comments and the like, and I'm going to start responding. Well, I, by the time you'll see this, I will have started responding to all of them, which is my plan. Um, so yeah, uh, with all that said, I've been Animosity, you've been you, and I hope it's because you want to make sense for the video. Ta-ta, for now.